Hi, I'm Mandy, soap maker here at Heavenly Bath Treats. Thank you for joining me. In this week's video, we will be making laundry detergent. This is a video of many firsts. It's the first time I've used the hot process method. I made some mistakes, but nothing that ruined the batch. It's also the first time that I've done the voiceover video, and it's the first time with this kind of camera setup. I won't be using it again. Including the recipe that I used because it is free and available to everyone at Nature's Gardens website. The first part of this recipe seemed a little strange to me, but I measured out 525 grams of baking soda and put it in a pan to put in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. The recipe says that this changes the composition of the baking soda into washing soda. The next step is to make some hot process soap and I start by pouring 294 grams of lye into 689 grams of distilled water, mixing that up to make sure that that lye gets dissolved. Next we bring out the old crock pot. It has seen better days so now it's going to be my soaping crock pot. We turn it on low and then I will pour in the oils. We have some coconut oil and palm oil. Um, some of the coconut oil was melted because I had bought it from a place that put it in a jug and the only way to get it out is to melt it. So that's why that's like that. And scrape that container, make sure we get all the oil out. This is the part where I made my first mistake. I put the hot lye into the crock pot with the oils. Um, so used to doing the heat transfer method that I was thinking, oh, these will melt the oils, and they probably would have eventually, but um, I think it would have been better to let those oils melt with the heat of the crock pot. I did end up pulling the large chunks out, melting them in the microwave. There, that is much better. I just have a few little chunks there that I'm stirring, trying to get to uh, melt a little bit. But soon it is my favorite part where I get to pull out the stick blender. Now the instructions said to blend this to trace so it would look like pudding. And I was reading the wrong line. I was reading the line where it should look like mashed potatoes. So I stick blended and stick blended and stick blended. I may have over stick blended a little bit. It's mistake number two. Again, it's not harmful. It just means I didn't cook it as long. See, I told you I stick blended for a long time. Look how nice and thick that is. Very satisfying. So I scrape off my uh, stick blender there, trying to get all of that soap back in the crock pot. For this next part, we will put the lid on and the instructions say to cook it on low for about uh, two hours, stirring occasionally. Um, it, it does a weird thing at this stage. It gets really thick and I thought that it was going to turn it in my crock pot, but it loosened up again. This part is so sad. I lost the footage for this, but in this scene, I measured out the borax. It was 288 grams of borax. And then I put the cooled baking soda into the pot with it. I used a sifter so that all the clumps are get not there anymore. And it, I was pleasantly surprised that the baking soda did not burn or anything. Like I was thinking it might. The instructions say to cook your soap in your crock pot until it reaches mashed potato consistency. So it was reaching this consistency after only about two or one hour, excuse me, and not two. So I thought that I had better go ahead and get it into the mold. Um, you saw a little hand there. That was my son, Jack. I said, this is not mashed potatoes. It is soap. Please exit the area. So I put the soap into two of my molds. It the recipe says it makes about a four pound batch. That's a lot of soap. So you will see that I will have some left over after I make this batch. I was worried that maybe I did not cook this soap long enough, but as I was scooping it out, it started to harden already on the sides and get kind of flaky. So I knew that we were good. We were gonna be all right. 
I made this soap on April 1st and it was a pretty cold day. So I set it out on my back porch um, to kind of set up and it only took probably about half an hour to an hour and we were ready to unmold. Alright, here we are ready to unmold our soap. We um, popped it out of the mold and then started to cut it into larger or smaller pieces so I could measure it out. Um, I did notice that the center was still a little soft, so after I cut out and measured, I did place it back on the porch for just a few minutes, and it was ready to go. So after it had hardened up completely, I cut it into smaller pieces and double-checked that I had the right weight it was. Um, let me look. Uh, we needed 312 grams of soap for the one batch, and I had a lot of the soap left over for other batches do at the end exactly how much I had. All right, now we get to blend it up in our food processor. I did end up cutting them into even smaller portions, and I put a couple of tablespoons of the borax and baking soda um, mixture into that to kind of help it break up and separate. I actually ended up adding a few more tablespoons in between. I want to make sure that this got as fine as I could get it and it wouldn't stick together. Um, this is kind of a cheap food processor that I have, but it actually did a pretty good job. After I processed the soap, I got it as fine as I could, but we were able to add that to the borax and the baking soda and give it a good stir. And then we are going to add the fragrance oil. Um, add a little bit at a time, stir well in between each each addition. I use Torrential Rain fragrance here from Nature's Garden. It smells wonderful, a really good fragrance uh, for a laundry detergent. Um, at one point, I decided to use my hands to really get the um, fragrance incorporated. Once I got that all mixed up, I decided to put the, in some little bags that I had, these little stand-up bags. I was counting out each Tea, or excuse me, tablespoon, because you only use a tablespoon per load. So I was seeing how much we could get in this little bag, how many loads. So I was counting as I put those in there, and then I'm going to weigh the bag. I ended up getting 15 um, loads in 8 ounces of laundry detergent. It was actually a little bit over that. Um, it probably is more like 16 loads, but I thought 15 would be safe. So these are probably not bad for maybe like a little sample bag, but I think if I was going to sell this laundry detergent, then I would want a bag at least twice this size. Here is a picture of everything that I got out of the batch. I still had a lot of the hot process soap left over, um, a lot of batches that I can make out of that. And then the recipe gave me four eight ounce bags of laundry detergent. And then I have a little partial bag there. It was about five ounces, which is what I'm using to test it. I did a couple of loads of laundry last night and I was impressed. I clean, it dissolved in um, cool water that I used. Got the laundry clean. The laundry had a wonderful smell even after the rinse cycle. Um, so I am so far very impressed with this. I will keep testing it to see if maybe this is something that someday I would want to add to my shop. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video.